I had just had drawn on these and put those things around it and all uh, about two of them and then I started on Emmy's outfit and by the time I got done with her outfit they were already lighting and ready to quit and I'm like hmm, I better hurry up and do these other ones and all uh, so if I want to stay longer I need to use these other ink pens and use them and use these right the one little markers for when I want it to do it right now because that most indefinitely I was like oh no 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 so it'll be alright let's get these right here down so we can get busy and get this quilt done I want to start on the other one now or something else I may start on it and I may start on something else I don't know there's no telling with me what I'm ready to do you know I mean I like quilts and all but sometimes you just gotta kind of break away from them because you get tired of doing them and you need something different to do something different and that's me I think I need to do something different but I did get her outfit done. And oh, now I'm back on this again. Now, what I want to do now is I want to figure out. I've already got two, five, and eight. Let's make sure that I didn't mix these up. Two. Well, I don't have the numbers on them now. I hope so. Let's lay this out here. <coughs> kind of. I know the reds, this is number four, three, this will be four over here. This one should be number six over here. So now we have these. Here's number three, which goes right here. I don't know how much you can see me. Here's number one. Okay, I'm looking at it. Number one goes right there. Uh, I'm having to look at them how they want, how they should go. Okay. Because this is number nine. All right, the pink goes on the inside, going in, on all four of them. Let me turn that one around. And turn that one around. So I think that's the way it goes. All right. I'm going to stack these three up. So they go together. Set them over here. Take this one, move it out of the way, Ugh. and now we want to work on these, which they're going to go like this, okay? I don't know if you can see what i got here. Yeah, you can pretty well much see it. Alright, now, there's a shirt and he had on. Alright, now we want to... Then got my machine ready to rock and roll with it. So I'm going to fold this one. Nope. I fold this away. Got to remember which way I want them. I feel like I took a long vacation from them. <laughs> Alright, now I need pants. And I need my strips. I need to cut it in half. Uh, that magnet it's hard. He had got a hold of these scissors and said, I'm not letting go. Alright. So, we're going to 
so this one right here on and I already have my machine ready to rock and roll with it but I got her an outfit cause she needed one can't find her clothes, I don't know what she done with them she took them off and who knows they'll show up sooner or later and then I'm probably going to wish, oh my god, I wish I'd have found these earlier. They stink. <laughs> Alright, let's sew this one down. Alrighty. Now then, we're going to turn this up like this. Cut these off. Because we don't need them no more. Okay, you want to be that way? Now we're going to turn these down and sew this down. See what it looks like on the back before we go any further. Oh my gosh, I felt it. Yep, look at there. Okay. So what we're going to do with this. See right here, it didn't catch it all. So we're going to stretch this out, pull it back like this. Okay, we're going to want to pin it down, no, let's take it, and let's take it apart, then that way I can get it better. I was going to just leave it and just put another stitch down there, but then it might take away from my inches, my yardage, and I don't want to do that. It'd be better to take it apart. Thought I had my stitch length out there too, but I don't. It looks like a 2.2. I better check it and fix it. I don't want them so tight. Well, how far do I have to go? Because they're really tight in there. All the way across. That's good right there. <laughs> I might as well go all the way through. <laughs> I want a little bit more in it. So let's try this again. sure we got our all of it together <laughs> all right let's try to do some more all right now I got it good 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 hope we don't have too many more of those all right Pin it down. There we go. Sew it down. Now we want to make sure our numbers and everything are right. So that's why I'm leaving the numbers on there. So that I don't have to worry about the numbers. Alright, let's go sew this down. Alright, now we got four here. So. Okay. Now we want number one here. And we want to make sure the pink is going this direction. So we're going to go fold it this way. Lay it out this way. Get me another strip. <coughs> Cut it in half. I don't, I don't have one. I do, right here. <laughs> it's okay, I'll put it over here. Then that way I've got it. Alright. Now then. Let's see if 
we can't muscle this one around. And we'll give it a sew down now. <coughs> Alright, let's check it out. Yes. Now then. Yeah, let's cut this off. It's kind of even. There we go. So y'all don't want these this pink thing. I have too much trouble with it. Look at there. It's got a bolts right there. I have too much trouble out of this pink thing. Not cutting and all. So y'all really don't want one of these. I'm about ready to quit messing with them. Go back to my white table. The reason why I like this is because it's so big. But starting to get irritated. I wish this right here was turned around to the all, but I'm not going to worry about it. I am going on. Alright. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this one. Then I'm going to start on the other one. Well, I'm going to sew this one down. I'll be right back. Alrighty, I've got this one, one, four, and seven done. Right along with those. So I'm going to fold this up, put it up there with that one. Now let's work on this one. This one's three. And let's see. Let's get it this way. <coughs> one at the top. The pink goes in this way, the red goes this way, and the pink goes in that way. Alright, so, now then. There we go. Now I got them collars the way I want them. Let's fold this one together. This is strip. Throw the other one in the floor. Because apparently we don't need it. Let's see what we can do about getting them evened up here. Alrighty, I'm going to get these sewed down, and this one right here sewed onto it too, and then we'll be back. Alright, we have it down to where we could put them both together, all, all three of them, together. So, I think it's turning out pretty good. We do have a complete square though, but that's okay. He says that quilts have to be in a... In a all long and all way so we're not going to worry about that so we're, now we're going to take a strip and we're going to let's see do I have any smaller strips nope I just got these alright so I'm going to take one of these cut it in half go put half of it over here 
get one more strip because we gotta have one for that one over there now I only need half of this strip because we don't have much to uh, make it go all the way up so I'm gonna take this one and we'll sew it to this one I'm gonna get lined up there and then I'm gonna take this one and sew it to this one I need to get rid of the salvage as I go, and I'll cut it off when I get done. <clears throat> Alright, we're going to cut the salvage off because we don't want it. Alright. Now then, we want to put these right here on this one right here. So let's get that one out of the way. This one, we're going to turn this one right on top of it. Try to level it up the best we can. Get my pins because I know I'm going to need them. What? Look at the diaper. Yeah, Annie, so what's a diaper? It is a diaper. So? You want me to put it on you? Yes. Yeah, right. Now these right here should go one on one side and one on the other. Right here where our seams are. Try to line it up best we can. Here's a baby doggy in this. Emily, I am recording. Alright, we want to put this one on the same way that we've done the other ones. And I'm going to put the other one on too. So that we have all of them together now. So, I will see you when I get both of these sewed on and one great big old huge piece. And then we'll start working on our border. Alright, now I'm taking the strips that I took from off the sides of those um, blocks. And I'm folding them in half like this. Then I'm lining them up, and I'm cutting them all down into two-inch strips. So that we can start working on our border. I want the quilt bigger than what it is. So... This right here is just the start of it. I do like this mat. I do like my rotary cutter. I like all my goodies. And I really do appreciate all of them. I'm happy to be able to 
do all this for you guys. Make sure they're level. I don't want them crooked. They are it, it they are turning out pretty good. Uh oh, I want something in the floor. Alright, I think I might have enough. Let's see what I lost here. A strip. I think I have enough. I'm not for sure. Alright, let's do all this junk away. See about how many I got. I want enough to go all the way around the quilt. So, now I'm going to have to have some more. I can already see that. See, I got them going different directions. So, now what I got to do is separate them to what is what. And I want them going different directions when I sew them together. <clears throat> So they're not all the same way. I want them to look like that. So, oh, wrong button. That one goes up there. So I'm going to cut some more of these out. Let me lay them over here. I don't think I got enough for the whole thing yet. Alright, now then. Let's see. I want, um, oh, I remember now. I want this right here to go around the outside of it. So, what I'm going to do is cut these down. Get this around here so I can get it right. Yeah, I want about like that. Six inches. How would five look? Alright, five. I like five better. Alright, so I'm going to cut down a bunch of these that are five to go around. The outside of it. And I'm probably going to need. I think I'm going to get about six of them. I think six will do it. I'm not going to do no um, miter corners. I don't think that that would be necessary. Alrighty, so I'm going to get these cut down, and I'm going to sew them together. Let's see, maybe I need to do seven, and cut, them, cut two of them in half and sew them onto that, so I'll make sure I've got enough to go all the way around the quilt. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Alright, I'm going to get this done, and then we'll be back. Alright, I have um, eight of these. So, I just cut the other one off. And I bet you I, didn't, I should cut off the salvage on it, too, and I didn't put it here. Better check it. But, I have, and I sewed all the other ones together. The little strips. Yeah, I need to take that one. Get the salvage off of this one too. So I have these done. And now I need to do the um, batting. Oh, come on. I need the batting done. So. And I'm cutting them down. I'm going to cut the batting down to, let's see, what was this? Five? Yeah, 
I think I'm going to cut it down to like four and a half. So. <laughs> Emily, quit that running in the house. I don't have to tell you again. About ready to go to bed. Yes. Alright. So. I need about, um. Let's see. Four and a half. It's right here. I think I'm going to cut three of them. I think three of them will be enough. I don't know, two may be enough. Yeah, I'm only going to cut two. I think three would be too much. I don't want to cut this down this small and not be able to use it. Yeah, ow! Let's see. Alrighty, so I'm going to get these done and then I will be back. Alrighty, I have one of these strips folded in half and I'm going to cut it down. They will fit in a in a different way but I can make it work I hope we're gonna find out all right now I'm gonna set this aside this one's ready for me to pin down but I want to show you what I'm doing here so I'm gonna get one of these strips and I'm gonna lay it down here and I'm gonna cut the salvage off so I don't have the salvage because I don't want it. Alright. I'm going to take this right here. And let's make sure you can see. Yeah, you can see it. I want to make sure. Alright. It doesn't matter if you put it up here or back here. But you do want to make sure that you have some of it on there. I like putting it about halfway. Not quite halfway, but about halfway. And then we're going to draw it on. These pins you got to keep up. You can't draw like this. It won't, it won't work. See? They have to go up. Stand up. To make them work. Now the tip of the inside, which is right here, I want to put this tip of the outside and make sure I got it in the middle. And then I'm going to draw it in and around. Like that. So I'm going to do this all the way down towards the bottom. I want to 
think that's close enough. <coughs> okay. So my next thing I want to do is I'm going to lay this one, my bottom piece, out. I'm going to put my batting on it. Lay it down in the middle. Then we'll lay this one right here right on top of it. And I'm going to start pinning it down. <coughs> Putting three pins right here at the top. And then I'm putting pins right here in between them. So many places of beauty we long see below. going until I get all the way down to the end of the fiber fill right here okay then I'm going to cut off the excess that I don't need and I will pin all three of those All right, we'll be back, and I'll show you how to take it, uh, do it on the sewing machine. But I have this one right here. I've got the pin down and on, so I'll be back. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to sew this down. Now you're gonna be doing it like four times. We're gonna start with the middle one, and I hope you can see pretty good. Let's do a little bit of it. I like it a lot. It'll work pretty good. Now we want to start over here on this side now and we want to do the same identical thing.
right. Now we got that one. Now we got two more times on it. Now I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to start in the middle right here on the other end. those all right now we she want to go back off. to the beginning of this one we want to always start in the middle on both sides so it'll be able to come out clearly clearly um, evenly there we go now the next time I do one I'm gonna do one on the free motion and see which one I like better and so far, I like this one better. Seems like I can control it. But we're going to try the free motion and see what it looks like, too. take these pins out and then I'll see you the next tutorial and we'll try it out on a free motion. <laughs> 